Yes, we've heard your cries, and this morning we do have some last-minute strategies on how to take the headache out of paying for school. Joining us in the studio, Jessica Brown, the CEO of CollegeGirl.com. Come, Jessica, thank you for being here. You. you have some great tips. You have a new book out. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you do have kind of five big points for parents and students trying to pay that college tuition bill, including researching the schools you want to go to first. Yes, it's important to research prospective schools in line with your budget. Um, after reviewing your annual income, monthly expenses, personal financial goals, and savings accounts, you will be able to see how much you can potentially contribute to your child's post-secondary education. So you do have to kind of like, look at, like say, look at the budget and what can we really right. afford to do. Exactly. Be realistic about Be realistic. It. And you say, consider other schools as well as important to do. Yes, never underestimate the quality of an education from a more affordable school. Mm -hmm. Therefore, consider other schools that may not have been your first choice as this may be more financially feasible for you and your family situation. Uh, many professors that are teaching at your dream schools are also teaching at institutions mm -hmm. with a lower price tag. So just because it's not Harvard doesn't mean it's not good. Right, exactly. There we go. And FAFSA, I remember that from my college yes. days. That's a huge form and it makes a big difference. Yes, so you want to make sure you complete the free application for federal student aid as early as possible. Um, complete Completing the fast for early will allow you to see where you stand financially as well as how much you'll be able to contribute to your child's education. Additionally, give you more time to secure additional resources to make up your shortfall. And, the, and after you, then once you hear back from the officials about that form, it gives you a sense of how much aid right. you're eligible for, meaning how much comes out of your pocket, how exactly. much comes from other places. Exactly. And you said research external resources, meaning other scholarships. Yes, out there. that is key because last year, $100 million in scholarship money went unclaimed. You know, therefore, it is critical to be sure that you are researching these scholarships as this is a way to help you pay for college and potentially minimize your debt. Mm -hmm. So it's important for parents to be speaking with their employer about their tuition benefits to see if they can provide some or researching scholarships through Google and different search engines. Additionally, making sure you join local organizations. There's a lot of money within the community with these different organizations, and it's important that you join them to see if you can qualify for that additional aid. And I've said this on the show before. 